I understand the idea that says you want to confront thieves, but today we see how dangerous it can be. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the city of brotherly love, Philly. BakerTargets.com is where I get the targets you see me shoot all the time on Active Self Protection Extra. They ship fast, their prices are great, and they have all kinds of targets, both for competitive shooting, defensive shooting, and fun too. Check them out. Four guys with Sawzalls come to steal catalytic converters here. You see the first three of them here, and then it's gonna cut to another angle of a fourth guy, that's him. One of the guys wearing a Halloween mask, and you see him here and he's got a gun with a laser sight on it. The block watch captain came and confronted him because it was his van they were stealing the catalytic converter. They actually turned and shot that block captain in the chest and he was in critical condition for some time. Um, eventually he was able to come home. You notice here the guy with the gun is kind of swerved back around and is kind of hoping for him here and looking out for him. Eventually these guys are gonna find their getaway car again and to keep him going in the opposite direction, the guy in the Halloween mask here is going to then uh, again pick that up and shoot another shot at him and they all got away. Thankfully our block watch captain was released from the hospital several days later but he did take a gunshot wound to the chest for what happened here. No joke, Stephanie Widener, ASP's CEO, and I actually saw two dudes stealing a catalytic converter in Houston when we were there this year for the NRA annual meetings, and we got the heck out of there just because of stuff like this. Let's talk about some other lessons. These catalytic converter thieves are no joke. They come armed quite a bit, and again, like I say, Stephanie and I saw very similar to this in Houston when we were there. So. Again, if you're gonna confront catalytic converter thieves, I get it, recognize so many of them are armed. Now they shot him because he came out there to try to stop him. It's his right to stop him, but I want you to see how dangerous this is. Also, I wanna recognize how, how different this particular one is that they didn't just completely run off. That our guy here who is armed came back with the gun. You can see the laser sight on it. I'm not a big particular fan of laser sights myself, but he is peeking around the corner looking to see if the good guy follows him. Another great reason not to chase fleeing felons, whether they already shot you in the chest or not, is the fact that they might be looking for an opportunity for a counter ambush. So if you establish dominance in one space, own that dominance and, and consolidate it and don't go chasing felons because you put yourself at additional risk that you don't necessarily need to put yourself at in order to stop the threat. And listen, you see somebody stealing your catalytic converter, again, I totally recognize it is your right to stop somebody from stealing your stuff but recognize it could also end up with you in the hospital for multiple days, missing work, dealing with the aftermath of it, almost dying, spending time in ICU because some jerk thinks your life is worth this little. So if you're going to do that, make sure that you have count the cost so then that way when you go out there, you know exactly what the risks are here and cover your ASP. 